Welcome in, folks. We've taken the trip all the way to University Park here at the Bryce Jordan Center. We have Chef Skyler, the managing chef here at the Bryce Jordan Center in her kitchen. Chef Skyler, thank you so much for having us. Jordan, thank you so much for joining us. So we've done a couple segments now uh, that people have seen, but now we're going to take it up a notch, yeah. just a little bit. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're going to show some upscale dining that can be had here with the catering and things like that because what people might not realize, you cook for the celebrities and stars that come in to perform. Yeah, we have anybody on tour. There's many of them that don't have their own traveling chef. So we provide services for them to, you know, enjoy a really nice meal before or after their concert, whenever they choose to. But it's also on our menu so that you could have a dinner party for your parents' 50th anniversary and choose a salmon that may be a uh, Papa Roach date. <laughs> Never know. Happy anniversary, Papa Roach style. Yeah. Um, so what are you making for us today? So today we're going to do a Tuscan salmon with mm. a sun-dried tomato cream sauce. Um, and we're just accompanying it with a little bit of sauteed spinach and a nice carrot puree. Okay, that sounds fancy to me. Okay, so how do we get started? So we're going to start here by getting our, hand, our pans hot, right? I'm going to start with the sauce. Okay. So for the sauce, it's really simple. Get a little bit of oil in the pan. Not too much because you don't want the, the, the heavy cream and the, the sauce is already rich enough, so you don't need too much extra fat. We're going to get some onions in here and we're going to start sauteing them. Yeah, just push me out of the way. If I, I will. Like, just get out of here. I will. Gotta get the cream sauce going. <laughs> so while that's heating up, the salmon, generally I would do this about 30 minutes prior to cooking time. Okay. Um, very simple though. I have some minced up uh, chives and parsley here. So I'm just going to dump it on there. Add in some lemon juice and zest. Okay. Okay. And a little bit of salt and pepper. Normally when I do these steps at home or in the 814 kitchen, I kind of like do a lot of dee da da. Do you find yourself doing any like humming while you're cooking? That's the normal answer I get. That's normally the answer I get. And no, you're insane. Us professionals don't la da dee da da. Yeah, so I'm just, I'm just gonna la dee dee da okay. the, the herbs and the lemon juice on the salmon. That's the technical term. Yes, that is the technical <laughs> term. Um, and then we are going to get a little bit of oil in our pan. Now for salmon, we don't want our pan to be overly hot. Okay. Per se. So I'm gonna heat it up and then I'm gonna turn it down. Heat it up, turn it down. Yep. So I had it on for a moment here. Turn it down, get our oil in. All right, and I'm gonna turn the heat down on this guy. We don't wanna burn, per se, our ingredients, okay? That nice oniony smell. Yeah, a little fragrant, All right? Yeah, and this is where I'm totally la da dee da da Checking out this pan. You can see the ripples in the oil. I know it's ready to go. Right? Don't stand too close. Get the garlic. Sun-dried tomatoes in here. I'm gonna hold it off the heat because you already see my color getting a little yeah. dark, but that's not a, not a big deal. We'll, we'll save it here. Get a little caramelization for those sun-dried tomatoes. Kinda oh yeah, there's a lot of good smells coming from that pan. Black at, release <laughs> some of that, right? Get your cream in here, mm. right? And so we're gonna let that cook. We want this to reduce by half. Okay. Okay. So I will turn it down. I want it to simmer, not boil per se. You'll see an overflow. Yeah. If you get too hot. All right. So cream sauce going there. Back in the kitchen after the break. Stay with us.